The boreal forest is Canada's largest biome. It covers 35% of our country's landmass. It has great economic, recreational, and cultural importance to the people of Canada. It also has great importance to the world's climate and the problem of global warming. The boreal forest, which circles the Arctic tundra, is the largest land reservoir of carbon on Earth. Trees take the carbon out of the carbon dioxide in the air and use it to build their trunks, twigs, and leaves. When these trees die and decompose, the carbon turns back into carbon dioxide and is released into the air. But temperatures in much of the boreal forest are too cold for the trees to decompose completely. Some of the carbon stays in their bodies and is locked away in the soil. The boreal forest in Canada alone stores about 186 billion tons of carbon. To put this in perspective, that's 27 years worth of human carbon emissions at 2003 levels. The problem is that global warming could trigger changes which cause this carbon to be released. More CO2 will go into the atmosphere and that's what caused the warming in the first place. So the earth would warm even more, which would cause more CO2, which would cause more warming which could eventually make this problem become a lot worse than we first expected. One way that the boreal forest could release carbon dioxide is through the ground warming up. Organic matter, which was previously too cold to decompose completely, can now release the rest of its CO2. Another source of carbon dioxide is forest fires. The boreal forests of Canada and other northern countries are going to experience very large climatic changes in the decades to come. We expect them to get much warmer than they are today. We also expect them to get more precipitation than they do today, but unfortunately the warming will counteract the precipitation such that the forests are expected to, to dry out. The most important consequence of this is likely a substantial increase in forest fire frequency and severity. Warmer, drier conditions that the boreal forest could be exposed to would lead to more forest fires than we currently experience. Another threat to the forest is insects, which can kill trees, causing them to decompose and release carbon dioxide. A warmer climate could cause a variety of insect species to spread as areas which were previously too cold for them would become more tolerable. One of the most worrisome insects is the mountain pine beetle, which digs into the bark of pine trees, cutting off their nutrient supply and eventually killing them. In Canada, mountain pine beetles currently only live in southern BC, but warmer temperatures would allow them to expand their range northward, eastward, and to higher altitudes. Finally, the trees in the forest could also react to the temperature change. A warmer, drier climate in the southern limit of the boreal forest could allow the less productive aspen parkland to take over. And the boreal forest would have a hard time expanding northward as the soil in the tundra is too poor to support a lot of vegetation no matter how warm it is. Now, as CO2 is plant food, doesn't it seem logical that extra CO2, along with a longer growing season, could allow the boreal forest to thrive? Sadly, as we've seen, the added stress of insects, 
forest fires and changes in precipitation due to climate change could easily offset or even overpower the growth from extra CO2. We're not all tree huggers, but we all depend on the boreal forest even if we don't live anywhere near it. We depend on it to keep our global climate the way it is. And this ability is being compromised. <laughs>